Turn on the Christmas lights. Okay. Now, one of the most amazing things about Christmas is the lights. The twinkling of the fairy lights, the different colors, the reds, the greens. But guys, turning all of these lights off or on is an absolute chore. And in this video, we're gonna show you how you can very easily set it so it's automatic. So you get the luxury and the pleasantness of these lights turning on just by giving a simple voice command to your Amazon device. It's so, so easy to set up and it will save you a lot of time. Now, in order to set this up, we're gonna be using these smart plugs. I'm using these from a company called Tekken, but you can use any smart plug you want to. The ones here, I'll leave a link in the description. They are pretty affordable, they're well made, and they're not too big, so they'll fit in most normal extension cables. And also they'll work with your Google Assistant and also with your Amazon Assistant. Now, the reason why we're using these smart plugs is it tends to be that your Christmas lights don't tend to work with your smart assistant naturally. So they're just standard plug-in fairy lights and so therefore you can just plug them straight into here and then that turns them into a smart light. You can use this in conjunction with other smart bulbs as well and I'll show you how to do that in a second. So to get this thing set up you first of all don't need to download the appropriate app. Now for me it's an app called Smart Things so make sure you download that. So I've already set up some other devices on this app, but what you would need to do is press the blue plus at the top right hand corner of the screen. You'll then be presented with this screen and as you can see there's a lot of devices here, but the one that you would need to select is the socket Wi-Fi. And it then comes up with this screen and now you're ready to set up and link your phone to the actual plug. Now there are a couple of different ways to link your phone or your device to your smart plug. The first is by going by the Wi-Fi, so you will need to enter your Wi-Fi details to the app and then it will do a search for the device. Now this wasn't successful for me, so I had to use the second way, which again I'll show you in just a second. But when you got through the 100% time of searching, it came up to say it couldn't be found. So then it says do you want to pair it, and here I had to hold the blue button on the device for three seconds. So that then put the plug into pairing mode and then you have to go to your Wi-Fi settings on your phone and effectively connect to the Wi-Fi of the smart plug. So if you go into Wi-Fi, you'll see on your Wi-Fi list, there you go, Smart Light F294 and each one of these plugs will have a different Wi-Fi to connect to. Connect to that and then go back to the app and then it will automatically start searching and again, I had no issues then and it connected it straight away. You then have the option to give this a different name, so you can call this whatever you want to, but you can just call it exactly what it comes up with as default if you wish to. And again, when you go to your smart assistant, whether it be Amazon or whether it be Google, you can change the name of it later. Okay, so we can show you now that this is set up. I plugged in this lamp that you can see in the background. I've gone to the application, which is the Smart Life app, and as I turn it on, then you'll see, you make sure the lamp's on first of all. So if you turn it on and off, just by the app, then obviously it's working. So via the app, we've now got that smart connection. But what we haven't got yet is it's set up with Amazon and your Alexa Assistant. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is add the light to your Amazon Alexa app. And that is very simple. So make sure you've got the app downloaded, obviously, and then click the plus button in the top right corner. That will bring up this list at the bottom and at the top there, click on add device. It will then give you a number of different options. We're going to choose plug because that's what we're setting up. And as you can see, halfway down that list, there's an option for smart things. And that's the smart things application. You then need to click on discover devices and then that will search and find your smart plug and it will then be ready to set up. But it won't be quite ready yet because we haven't set a group. So I've just sped this up. This is gonna go through discovering the device and it will come up and say, yes, it's discovered one plug. So you do now have the option to set up the device, but we're just gonna go back to the home screen because at the moment we want to set this plug up into a new group called Christmas Lights. So let's go back to the home screen and now in the top right corner, we're gonna click on the plus button to set up a new group and we're gonna be calling that group Christmas Lights. So as you can see, the second option here is add group. 
We've got the option at the top to have a customized name, so we'll go up to there and we'll type in Christmas lights. So we've now created a group called Christmas Lights, but at the moment there's absolutely nothing in it. So we now need to add different devices to it. As you can see, I've got a huge long list here of different devices, but I'm just gonna add that one smart plug that we created earlier, the one that's in the background there. And as you can see, I've now got the group called Christmas Lights with the one device, and as I click it on, it works. Turn the Christmas lights on. Turn the Christmas lights off. Okay. So the other thing that I did when I finished setting up the four smart plugs is I wanted to bring in some of my hue lights into this Christmas group and set a Christmassy type theme, giving some greens and some reds. And all I needed to do was to edit the group and then add in my hue lamps, which were already set up. Now, if you haven't got any, then obviously don't worry about this, but if you've got any other smart lights, you can bring it into the same group. Now, one of the great things with the ones which change color is you can literally go in and change the color so that when you turn on the Christmas lights, it will change it to reds or green or any other color that you choose. So it really does give that Christmassy feel. You can also do things like change the brightness as well so that it might not want to be on 100% or you might want to only have it to like 20% or something. So again, just another great great thing that you can do to completely automate everything that you've done with your lights. And when you get to the end of the day and it's time to go to bed, rather than fumbling around a hundred different switches, just say that magic word and turn the lights out. Guys, that's it. Thanks ever so much for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful for you. If you do like it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, hit that red button. There'll be more of these types of videos showing you what you can do with your smart devices coming very soon.